Good morning. It is beautiful out here. We are in Corkscrew Bird Sanctuary. Beautiful place. I say beautiful a lot, don't I? Anyways, it is a beautiful place. And we are just walking on the boardwalk here, enjoying a nice stroll, trying to catch a glimpse of some wildlife. We've been here before and we absolutely love it. Now, because of COVID, it does require reservations, uh, which you have to do online beforehand, but it's totally worth it. This place is great. The wildlife is awesome. The birds are great. And this is actually um, just to the northeast of, of Naples, Florida. So it's within driving distance of a lot of of the uh, South Florida Gulf side towns. Oh, look at that, uh, that vine. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, gotta keep up. Where's that little girl is up there somewhere? Enter the woods. I think the last time I was here, I was trying to capture a really good picture of this, and it just didn't work out the way. No. It's like an experience, not a picture. I feel like the blue sky just makes it prettier. No alligators or any crazy birds yet. Now, as we look up here, you see some, some trees that are snapped off. Really big trees, too. And uh, that is actually from hurricane damage. Uh, hurricane Irma came through here several years ago and uh, took out a lot of these big trees. Uh, now, fortunately, these, uh, these cypress are very, very hardy and can withstand quite a bit of wind. But if there's any weak spots in them, well, they become food for the next generations. This looks like a tree from uh came down during Irma maybe. Oh yeah. You can look right down in there. There's like a tree growing up through the center. Yeah. Or was, that is. Just another casualty. Oh. We've got some lichens. Beautiful little things. Neat little gems. I'm not sure I know what that bird is. Oh, there he is. Oh, I'm not quite sure. I see it. Of course, we're doing some wildlife watching, and who didn't uh, remember the... Ooh, it's really going to town. And who didn't remember the binoculars? That's me. All right, so what we've got here, we've got an owl pellet. And basically, we just have some different fur, some bones. And if you see, I don't know if this is owl poop or not, but you look up in one of these massive trees, and it makes sense that an owl would make that their, uh, their evening roost, their evening hunting ground, if you will. So, interesting little, uh, little piece, of, piece of information there. You never know what you're going to find, even on a boardwalk. I guess, I guess really it was supposedly about a year ago, walking on this boardwalk, I guess there was an encounter. Some woman was walking down here, and all of a sudden, a Florida panther just runs past her on the boardwalk. I hope we don't see that today. It's not really what I want to see on the boardwalk, but any other wildlife would be really cool. It would be really cool to come out here at night when everything's kind of calming down. Kind of like the other night when we went to the uh, see all the birds come in uh, to roost. Just super cool. You know, this is really out here. It's really good and wild. And uh, especially when you don't have a lot of people around, just listening to the noises of nature, the sounds. It's really soothing. Soothing for sure. Give us a big thumbs up for nature sounds. Yeah. If you, if you stay still and quiet enough for long enough it's almost like the it's almost like the wildlife starts coming alive around you 
when you start walking quickly through oh woodpecker very nice when you start walking through quickly you just you miss a lot of things still a lot of fun all right let's catch up enough enough chitter chatter oh that's really cool wood grain it's like curly oak anyways we are now headed up to uh, one of the observation towers that they have here. Um, this is one of the, probably one of the only places you can really get a nice view above the vegetation. Uh, and also, if you've noticed, let me move right up here. If you've noticed, we have different ecosystems here. This is more, I'm not sure exactly what they call them, but this is more like the, the cypress uh, forest in here, with, you know, a little swampy. And then once you get out here, this is kind of like the main swamp. And actually on the other side of the these uh, uh, cypress trees are, um, it, it's kind of like a, like a grassy woodlands or something like that. So this area is very unique. Uh, and it's really awesome to go from one ecosystem to another and see the differences. Oh, some more beautiful flowers. I think we're edging up on about a mile and a half or so. We've just a little ways more to go. It's been nice and quiet in the swamp. Not a ton of people. But haven't seen any alligators yet. Hopefully we get the opportunity. Lots of places for them. Okay, so it looks like we are coming up to the end of this specific ecosystem, which is where all these cypress trees have been. Which means also that we are ending our walk on this boardwalk. I'm going to run ahead real quick here, ahead of the rest of the family. And I want to show you guys the grasslands. So obviously there is a huge emphasis put on conservationism and environmentalism uh, to be able to keep places like this. And, and I'm also a firm believer in being a good conservationist uh, and being a good steward for the environment. We're all stewards in a way. We wanna make sure we clean up after ourselves. That's one of the biggest things we can do. Something super easy to do. So with that said, this is the grasslands and then on the other side there's a different ecosystem in the uh the pine forest and to my right is where we just came from where all the cypress are it's just environmentally rich out here uh, and it's a great place to come to great place for the whole family highly encourage it um so Anyways, we thank you for joining us today. This was just a gorgeous little trip we took. So make sure to check out the blog linked in the description below. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you on the next adventure.